It's like in the next video when we're working on this uh, Antic Manifold, on these runners, what are we gonna do about uh, like porting this side? So yeah, we're definitely gonna address this side. Um, this is probably gonna be a pretty significant difference because if you're looking at your stock car, you can see how the ports are on here and it's a little bit cleaner. So we'll be able to line them up, get them all lined up to your cylinder head perfectly. So if you want, we can grab a head real quick and just match it up. Yeah, yeah, let's go over there. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to port the inside runners of a two-piece intake manifold. Uh, you can do this on a non-two-piece manifold. Obviously, you, you would have to just you would have to just cut open your plenum and then do it. Uh, but for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to be running a two-piece intake manifold, so we're going to be porting the inside of the runners, and it's going to be super easily accessible, which is awesome. This is my old setup. This is just a stock intake manifold for a B16 uh, VTEC cylinder head. It is a slightly larger skunk two throttle body, but it's pretty old, so we're gonna be swapping that out today as well. This is a two-piece ultra street style intake manifold. By the end of today, we are going to have port matched these runners right here, going into the cylinder head, and they're gonna be flush with the gasket. And this is what the inside of this intake manifold looks like. By the end of today, each one of these runners will be ported uh, and flowing air very nicely. Throughout this video, if you guys learned something new and or like what you're watching, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. I have a full-time job. I work really hard at this, so I really appreciate all of you guys liking and subscribing. With that said, let's get started with this project. The lamps that I usually use, and you know, like the flex flexible head, but uh, you know, you can put this, because the thing is, if you look straight at it, you're gonna be blinded. So you gotta like, you gotta look into the port, basically. You're, you do whatever you want. So this is just, this is my two senses. We, we take it apart assess it you know kind of look at it figure out what you want to do now you got to look at like when you're thinking about this you have to think about it I'm, I'm just getting to the to the mechanics of this the, you got to think of like the dynamics of what the air is doing so when you get into like some of these four piston and really nice cnc ones you know they have everything down to mathematical equation right like this thing can only flow you know x amount of cfm you know what i mean of air and stuff like that so we're, we're not doing that because this is this is more just like DIY fun reporting it, but you don't even need to get that technical on a lot of stuff But anyway, you need to understand how the air what the air is doing and how it's flowing in here So, you know, most of it is we're just trying to smooth smooth things out make the airflow smooth um, You know transitions and stuff smooth. So obviously, you know, we're just expanding that lip You know making the airflow smoother and it's just like a funnel like if you're pouring fluid in a funnel or whatever, you know So anyway, so yeah, we're gonna do that and then this to be honest with you in, in my opinion This is this is the most important because these ones are just shitty. I think what I was kind of getting at at the end of the day is what we could do, I think would be cool, is come to this side, look at the actual runners over here. We'll grab a gasket from up front, put it, lay it on here, and then we're gonna go find a head in the back. And then we're gonna bring the head up here and we're gonna kind of pour match. So real, realistically, like if you wanted to do this like the best way, in my, you know, most people's opinion would be, you almost have like a plate between, right? So we would set this up exactly how it is, and then we would set it up on the head and we'd want to make that port so everything matches up perfectly. Right. Of course, because the trend, because yeah, because that's the thing is a lot of people spend a lot of time porting, making it beautiful, and then you put up the head and like, you know, I'm just gonna exaggerate it, but it's, it's lined up over here. You know what I mean? So it's not gonna, it's just not gonna work as good. So we need to really make sure our transitions are, are as smooth as possible. So okay. the nice thing about having like the two piece manifold, like we're gonna start with, is that we can add spacers in here to increase the plenum volume. So that would be the volume of air between the throttle body and the cylinder runners here. How much air this can actually hold. You know, people have like Skunk 2 Ultra Races and stuff like that, has a big manifold, can move a lot of air. So by playing with those plenums, you know, you know, with the how much volume you have in there, you can change your power, power level a little bit. But most importantly is we're just gonna smooth it out and make it clean. We know that this manifold, you know, is just gonna be better for boost.
So here's what it looks like stock. And uh, we'll see what it looks like when we're done. What are some things that we're gonna be working on here? So for sure, we're gonna taper this essentially to just a peak in there. So there's not gonna be any flat. Cause this, this is all open. So the air is coming in and we're gonna make it divide like just smoother on the divide. And then we're just gonna clean up, you know, as far as we can go into the, into the port with, those, with the tools we have. I mean, the problem is, is once you start getting really long with the tool, it's really hard to see what you're doing. So that's why, you know, you typically when you're port, we'll port to here and then we'll come on this side. But also we're gonna, we're gonna open this up and we're gonna try to port match that as close as we can to B16 head you have. So are we actually, how, are we trying to, is our goal to get all the way through the entire runner? Ideally. I mean, no, we'll, 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 we'll probably clean it. The tool will contact every surface if, if you feel like going that big with it. Mm -hmm. You know, honestly, at the end of the day, it's just how many hours you want to put in it. I mean, I've literally put in, in manifolds like 12, 14 hours in a manifold. It's ridiculous, you know. I don't mind not doing them. <laughs> every party starts like that. <laughs> so we're, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna start rolling this edge essentially, right? So we'll start with that and then we'll work our way into the manifold. So you're gonna basically blend this down. I made the first pass around cylinder number four. Um, in order to make this process a little bit more efficient, I'm gonna just go ahead and hit the rest of the runners just on this side, you know, on the bottom side, and then we're gonna rotate just to kind of get all of them done all at once, like boom, 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 right? I, mean, I, like, I, like, I, like where, I like where you're headed here, right, right, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. at the end of the day, we're, all we're really going to focus on is the, the mouth. So let's just call that within the first you know, inch or so. In here, we're going to clean up, but we're not going to make any dramatic change inside the, inside the runner. Okay. So For many reasons. A, we don't have a ton of material. That's like as far as I would go? We're going to roll into it a little bit more, but that's, that's getting close to it, yeah. Skunk to style intake manifold, whatever. But dude, look at the ports. There's crap. You know what I mean? Right. That it's, was bad. It's like next level bad. So, anyways, this is one that I that I just recently did here. Obviously, you can see. That looks awesome. Oh yeah. All right, so I'm pretty far along here. Uh, most of the most of the runners are getting pretty dang close. Uh, to where we want to be. I'm just pausing for a minute to show you guys that like these three, these three right here are, are pretty much like what we're going for. And this last one right here, I left it so you guys could see uh, kind of what I'm, what I'm trying to do as I'm working through this manifold. Naturally, these runners kind of have like a, like a hump, like, like it, it, you know, it swoops into the runner, like the opening kind of like curves into the runner. I'm trying to open up one, open up the edges and then blend the new opening into the runner. So in order to do that, I'm kind of just knocking down this hump completely. And you can see right here, it's a lot flatter. I'll pull the camera up and show you guys, but it's a lot flatter uh, running. It's just more of like a straight shot from the opening into the runner. So you can see how like curved this one is. Yeah, there you go. You can see how curved this one is going in. And then this one, these two, like these three, are a much more straight shot into the runner. And so this has given us like, you know, the most, the most amount of opening and like as smooth of a possible path for air to travel. Uh, obviously this is like my first time ever doing this. So I'm just getting it as best I can. Uh, and you know, by no means is this the only way to do it or the right way to do it. This is just how I'm doing it.
done using the tungsten carbide bits for the die grinder and we are moving on to the sander. Our goal here is to just do like very minor shaping. Most of the shaping has already been done by the die grinder. It's not perfect, but I did my best. And from here on out, we're just using the sander bit to uh, smooth everything out, do some very minor shaping, cut down a little bit of the lumps and just get this as smooth as we possibly can. Down a little ways, eh? Yeah, yeah, you're just ah, you're like, oh, I'm gonna keep going. Yeah, I mean, I was like, I was like, if I'm doing all this work to make this look nice, yeah, why do yeah, I want yeah. all these casting marks in here? It's kind of gross. Yeah, no, you would have had to get there eventually. It's just, it's easy to get off track, but no, it looks good. Cool. Are you, are you happy with it? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I was, I was saying like, for having like no solid reference for how this is supposed to turn out, right? I mean, I didn't guide you good enough. No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, like, visually. Like, I yeah, haven't yeah. seen one that's, like, done. Sure. You know, so, like, yeah, I Yeah, I mean, you got the idea. You know what I mean? But, no, you didn't. It looks really good. You want to you wanna go out? You want to flip over and go to the next, the other side? Or do you want to... Yeah, I think let's probably start change on the next it up side. A little bit. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, you can come back and, and tune it up if you want to change anymore. The good thing is, once you get over here, and now that you got, you know, what, probably eight hours in here? Probably. So, yeah, so you got a decent amount. So, once you get... You got more hours than most people do. You know what I mean? And just porting in general, just because people talk about it, but doing it, you know, different things. So, so we'll go over here, start on this side. And then when you're doing over here, you'll probably get some ideas to, if you want to come back and clean this up. But yeah, as you get, as you improve and get better, you're going to kind of figure the tricks out. You know what I mean? So this is a little, this, this side's a little trickier. You can't really jack this up. I mean, you can jack it up, but you can't jack it up because it's really hard to fix. It's possible to jack it up, but <laughs> don't, don't. Just don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> right now, we're just going to assume that this right here is exactly where we're gonna port to, right? Right. So we're gonna start with that. And, we, and obviously we can reverse and go back onto your onto your cylinder head too. So we have to have we have to have some way to start this. Now, this one's a little trickier because this is this is this manifold's designed to fit like BS, B16 and GSR, so some of the holes are slotted, you know? Yep. Like slot, slot. So we just gotta take our time you know, get it all mocked up there perfectly. What I usually will do is I'll actually get some nuts and bolts and bolt, kind of bolt the gasket on to get it exactly where I want it. Mm -hmm. And like I said, from there, we will need to check this onto the cylinder head as well to make sure everything lines up. So we'll, we're gonna do some sort of mark marking, you know, to where we know where it's sitting on this and then we're gonna match it up to there. Cause obviously we can't really see, we can see through it a little bit, but it's not like, the best way to go is if we had like a really thick, let's say, let's say this was like aluminum or something like that. Then we would put this on there, port, port the one side of it, and then we put it on this one and port it the other side. You get what I'm saying? So picture, like I'll just exaggerate it. Picture this gasket. Let's say this thing was this thick. Okay. Right? Sure. We'll just use your imagination here. Now, I would actually bolt this onto here. Okay. Right? And yep. then when I poured it, I would port into the head just a little bit, and I would port like 50% of that gasket so i don't okay. come like to here so you're saying you would actually pour some of the gasket right right all right i'm just giving you a hypothetical yeah yeah, right? yeah. so I'm put, i would port that then i would have it lined up exactly then when i turned it on to here i would port the other 50 percent. so even if the runners I were just see. slightly off it would adjust so that way, on the yeah so that way you're flow. making the head the exact same it's, yeah. it's lining up perfectly right. the head and the gasket right. and then that way this is a perfect template of like what that is right. okay to me, to me, this is this this is like a super super important part of the job if you're trying to get every little last bit because I'll see people make like perfect ports, like really nice manifolds, you know, spend a ton of time on them, you know, as nice as they can make them, and then it's not even matched up onto the head. So let's just kind of get some ideas of how this is gonna line up. Actually, I mean, just looking down the ports, it actually lines up fairly well. Better than expected, but see, like with with the slotted holes, you can really move around a little. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Um, we'll see you later. So I got to take off material on the runners on the left-hand side. Yeah, you see that? See how they're all like stacked over? Yep. yep. So, so it's it's really like, I, I don't have to take off, take off really any or much on the right-hand side, but the left-hand side for sure. Some yeah, it looks off. like it's like overlapped a little bit here. So, but okay. let's... Does that make sense or do I still have to take... Well, we're just off? gonna see. Whatever, I mean. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and what I'll usually do if I want to get super precise is I'll actually take like uh, a hammer and like a little chisel and I'll actually smack it into it to put a ding in it because mm. that ding will be unique. Like obviously this is not exact because this is, this is just marker, but this is just giving, giving us in the ballpark for right now. 
but when we do your head, uh, when we do this to your head, to the final adjustment, we, we'll check it. And if we want, we can take a chisel and we can actually put a ding in a couple spots and that will make a unique blemish and then we can really perfect this. And we have our gaskets here. We'll start with the OEM one. And we know how this thing works. I see what you're doing now. Just you're gonna, you're gonna kind of position the gasket. How the we're gonna position onto this now. We're gonna base it off of that. So I know it, it's, it just gets it just gets a little bit tricky. But what I'm, we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on. Uh -huh. It's gonna be just a couple on and off process till we get it right, right? Okay. So everyone's a little bit different, but this is generally what we're gonna do here. This gasket pretty much lines up. I'd say perfect. As perfect as. Are you be. marking the gasket now? Yeah, just a tiny bit. I'm just like I said. I'm just using this for reference. This may be. This may or may not be the final final destination of what I'm gonna do, but this will give me, this is gonna give me a good, a good starting point. So now you're matching up the marks on the gasket with the marks that you made on the manifold? Yeah, that's things. kind of the idea, right? Right, gotcha. So, I mean, I'm, obviously I'm, I'm lining up the bolt holes because I knew where those were. And yeah. then I did, I did make some dots on the gasket just to, just to generally line that up as well. We're gonna be really close with what I'm doing here. The lineup also is kind of like what you, when you look down it with the flashlight. Mm -hmm. You know how you were like, oh, I just got to port to one side, and that's pretty much where we're at, as you can see, kind yep. of on this gasket. Uh, and then obviously we can see the difference here, and we can start measuring this too with the dial indicators. But we'll also take a little material off down here. Now that we got that pretty much good, and we're pretty solid on what we're going to start with. And when I do this now, the marker line, the outside of the marker line, will be slightly smaller than the opening of this head because this gasket is slightly larger so we should be we should be pretty much good to go okay so that's pretty much that'd be like pretty much step one and you can you can see compared you know to the other ones it's it's not perfect, but I'm gonna leave a little space that way I can get back in and I can go through with the sanding bit. That's it. Really, like that. that this thing. This, this is this is a good bit for for what you're doing now because it's a little easier. This has a little more control than some of the other bits. calling this intake manifold done. This is my first time ever porting an intake manifold, so like, again, by no means is this perfect, but this is, uh, this is definitely something that I'm satisfied with. Uh, I'm really excited to throw this on the car. With this manifold done, we are very close to starting, to putting the motor in the car and starting it for the first time. Uh, like I said in a previous video, we are gonna be starting it and running it NA for the first few hundred miles for like a little break-in period. Just make sure everything's running right, um, feeling reliable, feeling good, feeling solid. And then we'll go ahead and throw the turbo kit on. It really shouldn't be too much work to do that at all. It's, it's gonna be kind of fun, honestly, to run an NA. I've never experienced like a VTEC, NA VTEC B-series motor before, so it'll be kind of fun. And yeah, so there she is. Uh, let's, let's head home, uh, we'll put it together and we'll toss it on the engine. <laughs> 